Hello, everyone. We are in a uh, secret, undisclosed, uh, beautiful, beautiful lodge cabin in the uh, what Uwina should we say? Uwina Mountains. Uwina Mountains. Yeah. With with the Hewlett's, and we are just thrilled to be here. Now, John is the the president and owner of Cardio Miracle. Many of you know all about Cardio Miracle, and we love the product. And thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, your support on that. And it's a blessing. So John and I were talking uh, the other day, and we know there's a lot of you that have, for whatever reason, you felt impressed to go ahead and get the, right? And as we were talking, that's got to be a concern, especially with all the things that have been uh, revealed about it. And so I just really want to encourage you and let you know and have John say some things and our sweet wives uh, interject here um, of how Cardio Miracle could help restore. And, and we got to be careful what we say, but support the immune system, help support the immune system and build it back up. Because a lot of us, a lot of people are uh, immune compromised. And getting sick and getting a lot sick of sickness for a lot of a different lot of reasons. people who did all the things they thought were the right thing yeah. and we're not disputing that people did what they felt was right thank you but yeah. one of the big challenges that the science is the real science not the perpetuated science that was has constantly changed but the real science is that the pathogen that everyone was concerned about for over two years uh, attacked the arterial wall. It attacks your cardiovascular system. And the elements that are contained in the therapy that was given as the solution to that also, in many cases, attacks similarly. So it causes uh, people, that's why many people are, their immune system has been perhaps attacked or compromised, trying to deal with the uncertainty that went into this not fully tested uh, recommendation. And so taking and elevating your nitric oxide safely and your vitamin D3 and antioxidants is in my opinion, and I'm not a medical doctor uh, or a scientist, but I've been an observer of health and alternative therapies for now 17 years and deal with, in my opinion, the best and the brightest in that field they all are now recommending to protect against those vascular problems and to give people the best support for their immune system. They're now all recommending my product, which it's a great honor to have Scott and Sue and others. And we just got off the phone with a couple of the cows. Oh uh, yeah, this is so cool. So I want Scott and Sue to tell you about <laughs> what, a, what a great experience it was for them to talk to a couple of our Cardio Miracle customers secondarily to being uh, part of the cows Palmer Watcher Palmer family. <laughs> Do you want to talk about them and who you, who you so visit with? So we're sitting at the dinner table. I won't say names, but we're sitting at the dinner table and John pulls out his phone and goes and gathers a few papers and has some names written down. And pretty soon we are having conversation with um, people who have watched Watcher Palmer and who've listened and have purchased this wonderful, wonderful product, Cardio Miracle. And it was, it's pretty amazing. And I can't wait until all of us can meet together in person. Need a reunion. Yeah, we'll do yeah. the Cardio yeah. Miracle yeah. Cows yeah. reunion. What did the one what? lady call it? Cardio? Cardio Mobile. Mobile. Yeah. Because she takes it everywhere she yeah. goes. <laughs> And she, she's had major surgery and she, she just had a wonderful, wonderful experience in healing, energy. And then the other, the other lady we talked to and her husband had, uh, has had high blood pressure issues. And it's for two decades, for two decades, always. And then medication, she's basically off medication, right? Well, I think she's working towards that, but in two weeks she's had results she never dreamed possible. Ne yeah. So, so we're, we're excited, but it was fun. But they all mentioned, and I, I'm saying this on, as, on behalf of Jan and I to the Palmers, they both said how much that having the broadcast from 
Scott and Sue helped them through the last couple of years and how critical and how much a difference it made. And so it was really touching, it was. wasn't it? I mean, of course, Sue gets emotional quickly. Janet is a crybaby in our family. And so between, between the two of us, somebody's got to do it. But because of that, it's been really something else. And so what a great chance. We were delighted to be able to have uh, Scott and Sue come to our mountain cabin and be able to have a chance to visit about all these good things. Okay, so for a minute here, John and I might talk a little bit more. You guys can say whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, let's let the girls yeah. say something about And then I want to show Janet. you some uh, of the art. It's like a museum here, but there's a, a particular bronze of of Captain Moroni that I want to show you. But you guys So you guys say, talk about say what something. Cardio Miracle does for Jen. Something? Yeah. You talk oh, about what it's done for you. Um, gosh, oh, everything. Um, I'm 65, uh, healthier now than I was in my 20s. I have chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, everything wonderful that goes along with that. Um, depression, severe depression. Um, dealt, raised a, a very handicapped son. Um, and just struggle, I struggled with my health. I you know, was promised my patriarchal blessing that I would have a good, strong, healthy body that I would enjoy health and strength. I thought, where is this blessing? And now I have it. Um, off of all the medications for depression. Um, Tell I mean, them when we met. Oh, oh eight years, <laughs> years eight year, what, what? Eight years ago. <laughs> yeah, eight years ago um, that I started on the product and um, just the clarity of mind, the brain fog that I fought with all the time, day in, day out, is um, it's gone, it's just gone. Um, depression gone, uh, the uh, severe pain in my joints gone. Gosh, what else? I mean, there's just so many things. I was always, always sick. I would have relapses from the chronic fatigue. I'd be in bed for six to eight weeks and maybe up for an hour a day. And that would happen a couple times a year. So your immune system can be rebuilt. Uh, my vitamin D was at a 32 and I was supplementing. And after uh, going on Cardio Miracle because of the way that it, it opens up the cell so that your body can receive the vitamin D, it went up to an 84.8. And so I did attribute that in large measure to lot that's going on and the health improvements so that's fabulous I forget a lot of the things because they're not there anymore you know well some of the challenges are gone see and I love listening to people like um, Janet and John talk about it and it's not that we're trying to push something that we don't believe in it literally saved Scott's life and by John calling Scott and that's a miracle in itself for them to reunite over yeah. an 30 after, years, 20 years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and for Scott to take it when he'd um, severely broken his ankle and had walked on it for a number of months, it, it was, it was a very, it was a very hard time. But I have to tell you when I drink mine, I, I crave it every morning. I'll come back from our hike or whatever we do. And I fill up my big, bottle of my shaker bottle of water and ice. I put it in there and it takes me no time to drink it down. I truly feel wonderful. And I'm grateful for wonderful products and smart people who have the insight and follow the Holy Ghost to come up with um, things like this to really, really, really help people who've been compromised in some way. And I think we all have because of society, foods we eat, you know, uh, health issues. Excess every, medications. Everything. Yeah. So anyway. Well, these are cute girls. <laughs> We're grateful for them. Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so Scott's going to take you for a little tour of... Uh, okay, before, of before, before I do the tour, real quick, I just want to say, um, I think it is imperative that we stay as strong and healthy, both physically and mentally, and of course, to spiritually. To build the spirit. To yeah. build the spirit. Because with, if we're suffering physically, it's very hard to fill the spirit. And I, I, feel, uh, I feel really good about 
how, how I feel since I've been taking Cardio Miracle. The other thing I love about it is I'm a real supplement guy and have been for quite some time. And I've been able to eliminate two thirds, three fourths. Yeah. yeah, there's a few things so I most, still take. Of course, you should. And they'll just absorb better with the nitric oxide. So when you're taking your omegas or you're taking mm -hmm. additional zinc or magnesium or whatever, it's going to be more absorbable. And that's one of the key parts of a 24 seven nitric oxide. And there's nothing in the world that has ever tested out to be more than four to six hours of nitric oxide other than Cardio Miracle. And we proved that three and a half years ago at the University of Ohio at the cellular basis. Awesome. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't endorse this. I wouldn't talk about it. I wouldn't spend the time to do it if I didn't think it was very, very, very helpful for everyone but especially those that, that might be immune compromised right now for whatever reason, for whatever reason. And all of us, there's gonna be more pathogens. Mm -hmm. This is a conspiracy. This, is, this wasn't a one shot deal. And they're predicting the summer, they're predicting, and frankly, there are a lot of people's exposure are coming from people who thought they were doing the right thing, getting all the multiple treatments that are gene therapy treatments. They don't really qualify for the V word because they're not really the things because they were never tested to prove that. So the reality is everyone's going to be exposed to some people who are going to get it. And I mean, I just talked to Scott just last this last week, three people from my class reunion, 50 year reunion that have all been multiple injected and they're all sick as a dog. Yeah. They're all sick as a dog. And they're saying to me and I'm having a hard time because you know, I haven't really been sick in the last two and a half years. And, you know, what do I look like? Do I look like Jack LaLanne or Tony <laughs> Robbins? I don't think so. But the reality is my nitric oxide, and my vitamin D, my immune system is high. It's awesome. So. All right. So I'm going to turn the camera around here a little bit. If I can figure out how to do this. You can show him John Mo Butler first if you want to do that. Well, let's do this. Take a look at this picture here. Tell us about this, John. This is uh, my wife Janet's great, 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 great grandfather, John Lowe Butler, who is right here on the horse with his only one of three items that Joseph Smith personally blessed to heal the sick. It's you, called the John Lowe Butler cloak. You see that cloak right there? And uh, miracles were performed. <laughs> Joseph Smith ended up uh, blessing this piece of clothing because he couldn't be with the butlers. And John Butler was one of the personal bodyguards of Joseph Smith. And this picture, Dick, uh, shows Joseph sending John Butler back to Nauvoo when John Butler said, no, I'm going to stand by you in Carthage jail. And Dang. Joseph sent him back and he ended up being the first mayor of Payson. <laughs> Look at, I don't know if you can see his facial expression. You can just tell that Joseph is telling him to go back and he's, he, you can just see it in his face that he's, he's wanting to stay with Joseph, but he obeyed Joseph and he went back. Uh, the other thing that if you want to do a little church history is that John Lowe Butler was the one who, when the saints went to vote at Gallatin, I think Gallatin, Missouri, or Nebraska, I'm not sure which of the, the actual area, but at Gallatin, they wouldn't let the Latter-day Saints vote. And he picked up a, a tree, essentially, <laughs> like a two by four, but it was a tree. And he beat over a dozen people, uh, one on 12 or 20, uh, to allow the Mormons to vote. They voted and then he left. And then he was hunted for the next five years trying to get back at him for taking him on one on, on his own. And we heard about, uh, we knew about this and his journal is the second most prominent journal to Wilford Woodruff's in the church. Dang. So it's very interesting. That's awesome. Yeah, so he has a great book on that, but he has, his, his, his record is very much a frontiersman who ended up crossing the plains and going through all of, he was, one of, he was sent several times on missions to the, to the Native Americans prior to the saints leaving winter quarters. So he was an amazing pioneer. Uh, ancestor. Laying the groundwork. Okay. I, for some reason, I can't turn this around. So we're just going to do this. Okay. So this, um, 
This is Captain Moroni, a, a bronze sculpture, but it's very, very unique. And tell us about this. This has soldiers representing the Civil War, World War I, World War II. Over here on this side, we have the title of Liberty. And then we have George Washington with the baby, Baby Liberty of America. This was done by Dr. Stephen Neal, a uh, plastic surgeon and uh, world-class sculptor out of Pendleton, Oregon. And then over here in the back, you can see that uh, Lady Liberty is hanging on to the baby. Oh, yeah. Boy, now, if that isn't representative of what's happening in our world today with uh, us hanging on to the thread of liberty wherever we have. And, but uh, this is going to be one of the cornerstones of the legacy, uh, the Christ in America legacy gardens that we're currently raising the money. We've helped raise the money and get the land for the um, for a, a sculpture park that'll be probably near where the Heber City Temple is going to be. Really? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be as you move, go into Heber, well, we don't know where the temple is really at this point, but this is gonna be a part of a major subdivision and city park and the arts festival. It'll be a 10 acre sculpture garden with over 50 life-size and then multiple times life-size pieces that are gonna be honoring Christ in America. We think it'll be the premier garden of its type in the United States. Dang, so cool. There's so many other things here. We can go into the old cabin. Okay, we're just gonna walk here. Um, so this is the newer part of the, the, the lodge in a secret location. <laughs> and in here, this, this um, I'm gonna turn, uh, so this, actually I probably shouldn't. It's okay. Is it well, okay? This is, this is the, the. I'll just do, the, it's, on the, it's on the Utah Historical Registry, but I'm, that's all I'm gonna And this cabin on. was built in 1929. 1929. By my grandfather. And this is actually King Benjamin. <laughs> also, <laughs> Look at this. Also by, you can put it down so you can see his face. That's also by Dr. Stephen Neal. That's going to be life-sized uh, in uh, the Legacy Gardens. Oh, this this old cabin is just so cool. I mean, it, and here's the freeze dryer. We were just having a freeze dryer. <laughs> check it out. This is like what we have at our house. This is the Harvest Right, and they're just working on it all the time, and just like is, we are. And this was today's bargain at Smith's. <laughs> Smith's brisket, two ninety nine a pound. <laughs> Going in the freeze dryer, that's about a that's about a fifteen to one benefit over the cost of buying beef brisket freeze dried between fifteen to twenty times. And and we know freeze drying um, keeps about ninety percent of its nutritional value. Ninety five percent. Ninety five percent. Yeah. Okay, so. So Check here's humble out. pie for Scott. So here, this is the Tabernacle Choir. The and... Tabernacle Choir from the '50s, and uh, my grandfather was president of the Tabernacle Choir. Here's Richard L. Evans, uh, um, Richard P. Condy, uh, Asper or uh, Frank Asper, Alexander Schreiner, and my grandmother is up here in the corner. She. She was the soloist for the choir. And this piano belonged to her mother, which was the first female organist for the choir. And then we can go in and show the Kirtland stuff. Oh, and there's the Cardio Miracle tribute in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Up there. <laughs> this, I'm just gonna do the fireplace real quick, John. Yeah. This is the fireplace and the original fireplace all restored it was just all black and you know used and now and the and the the hearth is the original it's 1929 just 1929 okay awesome and here are some of the original paintings that they gave to donors and fundraisers for the restoration of kirtland in 2002 2003 is i believe when it was dedicated by president hinckley but that's the, the Kirtland Temple in the winter. And then our favorite place, the School of the Prophets. Some people call this the first temple of our dispensation. These are all a private edition. There's only 20 of each of these. 
And then this is the Whitney store where the School of the Prophets was on the upstairs. In the upstairs. Of the School of the Prophets. Yeah. Oh, so if you've never been a, to Kirtland, you're missing a There's great such a experience. spirit in there. We've that been there. That room is unbelievable. Yeah. More appearances of the Father and the Son probably in that room than any place on earth uh, since this dispensation. Amazing. Here's the old kitchen. Uh, remember these old original metal? GE appliances. <laughs> Refrigerator still works. Uh, I so love this it. was my grandparents, my grandparents' summer cabin that we've now turned into a, a year-round residence when we can deal with the five feet of snow in the wintertime. Well, there you have it. Oh, guys. here's a good picture. Oh yeah, yeah, this is great. So so many of you recognize this scene. This is a little different than, than maybe what we're used to, but this is Wilford Woodruff in the St. George Temple with all the the, the signers, his, the, and, the the signers historical. and historical yeah, figures Abe Lincoln yeah, and, that came and and requested that their that their work, I don't know if we call it their work, but their their endowment. Their endowment. Their endowment right. to be done. And there's so there's but there's presidents of the church here. Actually, that might be U.S. Grant. I don't know. But there's all kinds of interesting people, yeah. some modern enough. This is, you can see this at uh, Reed Moon's uh, bookstore down in the River Woods in Orem, Utah. <laughs> all right. I think that's it, John. Well, anything else? It's great to be with you. Uh, one of the things that was fantastic was hearing from a couple of uh, the cow watcher Palmer people saying, how much it had meant to them to have an advocate and to have the support of this community. So we tribute the community. We've had hundreds of people have responded to Cardio Miracle and the benefits it has. It's a money back guarantee. We're, we're not gonna pull the wool over anybody's. We just wanna clear your arteries and build your immune system. That's what we wanna do. And we wanna give you hope and certainty in a glass of vitamins and supplementation every day. And uh, just been a delight to be a part of Scott and Sue's uh, efforts and their commitment and understanding and their own testimonials that have benefited so many people. So thanks to Scott and Sue for being such great patriots and also such great examples in the latter days of speaking truth. So oh, thanks, thanks to John. all of them. Thank you, thank you, John. All right, we're signing off. We love you all. Thanks for all your love and support. And we will talk to you soon.